D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, just finished Bad Batch, uh, season two, episode nine. And I have to be honest with you, this was very much a filler episode and very much a waste of time. Uh, I was very disappointed in this episode. I was like, I thought they would pull it out and give us, maybe try to give us a banger, but nope, they failed miserably. Um, and they wasted our time, you guys, they wasted our time with this episode because I mean, like we're dealing with the emotion of Omega first off a character. I care nothing about, I do not like Omega as a character. She, I find her annoying. I think she adds nothing to the show or the star Wars universe, but apparently we needed a small child, a a small female child, uh, (laughs) for some reason, I don't understand why, but whatever, it doesn't even matter. But it just wasn't this this episode wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. And I was I was just like when it was done, I was like, oh, well, that was a waste of time. And I just don't understand the concept of like this isn't like you remember in Clone Wars where it was like 23 episodes a season back before, you know, we got to streaming and all that stuff. But it was like 23 episodes or 25 episodes a season. So you could do filler episodes because you're like, it's it's fine because, you know, there's going to be more episodes. But these seasons are only 16 episodes long. And this is the, it's getting to the problem where it was like last season where the beginning of the season was very slow, very clunky, slow burn. And then the end of the season, in fact, like the last, I'll say the last four episodes really picked up, in my opinion, when they went back to Camino, that's what it picked up. And I was like, oh, we're getting, we're going good here. And that's how I feel about that. Like episode three has been the best episode. That was a banger. The rest of them are just like mid to like this one, which was just a clunker. I, I don't. I don't want to be negative all the time about this show, but I'm sorry, like they need to pick it up because this is already a group that I cared very little about to know nothing about. And they made them give them their own show and then they're not doing anything with it. Like, that's the thing. They're not doing anything. I'm like, come on. There's got to be there's got to be more to this than than what we've got. Um. Yeah, I'm just I, I'm so disappointed in this episode. Like it's like my theory of two bad two, you know, filler episodes and one banger has is completely out the window because this was not a banger. If this is the this is the worst episode of the season so far. It's so stupid. All right. Well, I'm gonna stop dissing on this and I'm gonna get started on this breakdown. But before I do, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get pushed to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's get started on this breakdown. So it starts off on this planet. They do not give us its name. And if they did, I wouldn't remember it anyways. I'm I'm so horrible with names. So it's, it's on this like Grand Canyon-y planet. And the Bad Batch, they, they land on it. Uh, they land their ship and everything. And they get off and they're like, hey, we're, we're just checking out. And, and um, something's wrong with Omega. She's she's upset. She's sad. And so they're walking along and they get to this little mine right here. And they're like, Zed uh, bought this mine for the uh, equilibrium. I don't remember what this stuff is called. It's like this liquid that when refined can be a great energy source. But true to form with every single, you know, any substance that we have in any any sci-fi thing if it's rattled too much it'll explode i'm like wait to be having an original freaking thought yo so um they're like we're gonna check there check this mine and and uh so uh tech i can't remember a tech yeah this is where he's explaining like it, it can blow up like a thermodetonator so they see this he sees the storm and he's like it's it's not coming our way so we're good so like uh, you tech mean you are going to go inside, uh, crusher and, uh, Omega, you guys stay watching. And, and he's all like, we will need crusher to go inside and help us. And he's like, not, and she, Omega's like, oh, I can be a lookout. And he's like, not alone. And so, so they go inside. Oh, and there's somebody watching them. Cause there's, there's, uh, 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 marauders or something like that. And there's this little, this little person. 
that we don't find out who it is, but I have a feeling we're going to find out who it is next episode because they left it on a cliffhanger. And uh, and I don't care. I really just don't care. Anyways, so uh, so then they go in the mine and Tech is all like, I cannot find any vibranium. It looks like this, this uh, mine has been depleted. Zed did not get her money's worth. So they find, hold on, they find a little piece up here of the vibranium. And he's all like, it will be difficult to get up there and get it. So, <laughs> excuse me. So she's sitting here and he's like, what's the problem, kiddo? And she's all like, oh, nothing. It's just a Miss Echo. And so she goes in to help them because she's small and she can get up there without, you know, rattling cages. He's like, make sure you hit the precise point uh, or you could destroy us all and everything. So then she drills. I like this little tool that she's got. But she drills into there and then she sticks the little thing in there and she pulls out the liquids, which is that's the vibranium. Or equilibrium. I don't remember what it's called. I honestly don't care. Uh, I'm so annoyed. So then we pop over to their ship. And this little person is riding their little skiff over to it. And they get in there and then they pop, you know, some stuff. And then all of a sudden you hear a noise. And they're like, what? What is that? And uh, they run and their ship gets taken. It totally gets stolen. She's like, no, come back. She's like, we're going to get it back, right? And he's like, uh, I don't think so, kid. It's a big freaking universe. And that's one ship. And uh, I'm pretty sure they've disabled any kind of tracker we have on it. So, so then, sorry, there's like a windstorm. I have to watch my tree. <laughs> so she's all bummed and everything. And so they're all trying to figure out how they're going to get off this planet. They're like, oh, we'll contact somebody maybe or whatnot. And she's all like, maybe we could contact Deco. He's like, doubt it. And they're like, oh. Tech is all like, I did spot a, um, a town a little ways away while we were flying over. So it's this way. So they're in this little can canyon here. And she's trying to contact Echo with her little her little thing. You're like, Echo, come in. And they're like, you're not going to contact him, kid. That's like a, a short range like thing. Come on, stop it. And so they're going through here. Uh, and he's like, stop. And he hears something. And it's a stampede. And hold on. And as soon as, hold on, let me play this. And as soon as this happened, because he's like, run. And then as soon as this happened, like all these little deer coming through here, I just thought of the Lion King, like, dun, dun, be, de, be, do, de, dun, boom, de, de, be, do, do. And I'm like, run, Simba, run. And they're just like trampling through here and everything. And these cute little deer that look kind of like rhino. Or did they have horns on their head? It doesn't matter on their front. And they latch on up here and they're all climbing. Look how thin this white. How do they grab a hold of this? You ever been in, not for you Gen Zers, because you guys do not know anything about physical fitness. Um, as much as my generation. But do you guys remember when you were in gym class and they had that rope that went all the way up to the ceiling and you had to climb it? But it was like this thick. Like it was like this thick, right? Look at that wire that they're on. How did they climb up that? That's like that's like me like trying to hold, look at the, this is my cell phone cord. That's like me trying to like grab a hold of this and pull myself up. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way because you had to like, because with that rope in gym class, you had to like put your leg around it and then like, like hold it with this and everything. Learn that from a Chuck Norris movie uh, and go up it. But I'm all like, how, how did they get up here? Like, I just want to know that. Just how did they get up here? I used to love that rope thing. They always were like, do not go all the way up to the top of the roof and everything. They always said like that little red flag that that's where you stopped. And that was like the top, the highest they wanted you to go. Because if you let go, you would die. Anyways, okay. So then they get up there and uh, what's his face has got to he's got to jump down and protect the vibranium, right? Because if it, it blows up, they're screwed. And Tech is kind of getting on to uh, Crusher here. His name is not Wrecker. Wrecker. <laughs> I told you I was bad with names. <laughs> so Tech is all on uh, Wrecker's uh, uh, D on on protecting this stuff. And he's all like, he's like, oh, it's all my fault. Hey? And he's like, well, technically it is. You got the ship stolen. And so they run, they're they running because the storm's coming now. The storm's coming and it's throwing rocks and it's got the lightning stuff and everything. And he, they see a, a mine up ahead. They're like, a mine up ahead. And I was like, of course they find a cave. I'm like, 
Like while I was watching this episode, I literally was like, how many like, you know, tropes or what? Not really tropes. It's not tropes. I just can't think of the right word. But how many things are we going to hit on this this episode? Because I was like, I was like, OK, there's going to be something that happens. I was like, they're going to get caught in the storm. OK, but when they get caught in the storm, they're going to find a cave and then they find this mine. I was like, and then they're going to get trapped in the cave because it's going to collapse. And what happens? So they're running. Hold on. Let me just do it because they're running through here. And he and and because uh, Echo uh, Tech is all like, uh, you have to protect it. And he's all like, well, you carry it then. And he's like, all right. And so he carries it, but he drops it. And when they after they get into this mine, um, the the lightning storm picks up the the case. Hold on, let's just play it. Picks up the case and then it throws it into the mine up above the mine door. It just happens to hit above the door and explodes and traps them in this mine. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, and then and then while I was in here, I was all like, oh, now watch. Omega's gonna find the way out. And I was like, oh, this is so like annoying. I was like, uh, it was just a waste of time. Okay, moving on. Sorry. I know I'm I know like sometimes I can be negative, but like this it's just the truth. This is just the truth. Um it's this was a bad episode. I'm sorry. I have nothing good to say about this episode. Like like it wasn't character de uh, development. It wasn't, you know, setting anything up important. I I'll, I'll bet. I'll bet. Uh and it just it was annoying. It was just annoying. Okay. So So then they're all like uh Oh, so then he's blaming Wrecker and Wrecker's like, that's always my fault. And he's like, well, technically it is. You got us trapped here because you let the ship get stolen. I was like, oh, get off of his D and everything. So she's sad. So then they're trying to move the rocks and she's all like, she's like, maybe we can contact, uh, you know, and get the ship back. And they're like, we're not getting the ship back. I'm like, well, no, it's our home. And Echo left us and now we've lost our, shi our, our ship and everything. And um, they're like, Echo, we didn't lose Echo. Echo went on his own path and that's where he's got, that's what he's got to do. Um, and and she's like, you're not even sad about it. And they're like, yeah, we are. We're, we're, it's just, we're, we're adults. And we realize that he's got to do, he's got to do him. You got to do you, boo-boo. And you right now you're doing annoying. So um, why don't you go find a cave somewhere and pout there? So she does because Echo, a text says something. I can't remember what text says. But Tex says something along the lines of like, we're never going to get the ship back or something like that. And it upsets. She's like, mm, I'm mad. I'm going to go throw a fit in, in, you know, a side cave. <laughs> so she does. So she leaves. And uh, he's like, they're like, good one, Tech, and everything. So then she, fi she finds her way through this little thing. And I'm all like, uh, at one point I was like, oh, watch. She's going to find like a monster that's going to end up being good. But it didn't, didn't happen. So she's sitting there and she finds this glowy thing. So she looks inside this glory hole and she knocks away at it with the little tool that she has. And she finds the bio, a whole cavern full of vibranium. And she's like, oh, jackpot. I found the jackpot. And they're like, oh, this is going to take days. Uh, he's he's and then uh, tech goes, we could use some of that vibranium to blow up this. That's what we needed. A nice explosion to get rid of all this, this thing. I'm going to go see if I can find some uh, vibranium. And he's like, while you're at it, you can apologize to uh, what's her face. So mega uh, for being insensitive. And I just go, maybe Omega needs to grow up a little bit because she's with you guys and you guys aren't exactly the safest parents on the planet. Mm. So anyway, so. Uh, he goes and finds her and she's like, I found all this vibranium. And he's like, you realize that you could be destroyed. And she's like, I understand. Go get me my vials. I have some more in my um my pack. Go get it and we'll get some vibranium. So then they're sitting here and she can't, she needs, she has one more vial left and she's trying to get this one, but it's too far. She can't reach it because she's so small. And she's got little hands, little arms and everything because she's a child. So as she's doing it, she drops her weapon and then she's she falls and she's like grabbing hold. She's like, oh, tech, help me. Tell me, tech. And he's he comes down. He tries to reach for her, but she then falls. And then he just I mean, instantly just jumps after her. Now, I would have done the same thing if that was like my kid. Uh, if my kid fell, I'd have just been like, oh, to, to, to get him. I'm, I'm, I'm like, he has no idea what's going on down there. Uh, they could just go splat. Uh, but I would have done the same thing. I'd have just been like, oh my God. And then I just would have went and grabbed him. I just would have went away for it. And um, 
And they land in this water, which I'm like, oh, of course they did, because they can't go splat, because we can't get rid of Omega, although tech is my favorite. I like people that are straight to the point. Uh, so then um, they're they're in the water, and uh, and then they get uh, they're they're trying to contact them, like come in, come in, tech, come in, Omega, but they can't get a hold of them, so they go looking for them, right? So then they get out of the water after they go under, because I was like, oh man, and then they're like, we have found an oh hold on, I gotta get to it, and they're like, we found an alternate Omega found an alternative route uh, and an alternative way out of here. Oh, after after they find the alternative route. Hold on, where there it? Hold on, yeah, because they can't find them. Hold on, hold on. There it is. And so they're like, you just have to jump into the water and grab our pack because it's got more vibranium and we can blow a hole in this in this gasket or whatever. So then he's sitting here and she's all like, so they're sitting here talking and this is where uh, Tech, sorry, I said it before, but this is where Tech tells Omega because she's like, I'm really sad about losing Echo and I'm sad now that we lost our ship and I don't know what to do. So then he tells her like, again, Echo had to choose his own path. He had to do him. You know, this wasn't for him anymore. You know, this is where he got his starting off point. And now he needs to move on with his life. You know, honey, you got to, you got to start, you got to get over yourself. This is not all about you, Omega. That's what I, I hate this character. I absolutely hate this character. She's so selfish. She doesn't, I mean, like she's pretending to care, but I don't think she cares. Like, I think, I think she only cares because she only cares about how she feels about it. And it's like, well, Man, uh, like uh, nobody cares how you feel, Omega. I don't. Anyways, um, I can't remember what else they said, what he says, but I, I honestly just don't care. I don't care. Uh, so moving, and then you hear ah, because a record doesn't like to get in here in the water. So they find they're like, hey guys. So they set up the thing, and he's all like, I have to shoot it because it needs to be precise, and you'll, uh, you know, just a big lug. So they blow a hole in there, and they get out, and they're outside. Storm has passed. They're on the planet and they they find they they see the town. Sorry, I, I hold on. Let me just. There's the town, right? And it's abandoned, of course. And so they get in there and they find a a a relay station thingy or whatever, and he's able to use it to contact Zed. And she's like, "Sorry, boys, I can't help you out. I'm really busy right now." And they're all like. They're like, we cleared your debt with the racer guy and we did this for you. And she's like, listen, I can't get to you for a couple of days. Like, we don't have enough rations for a couple of days. And she's like, well, hang tight and I'll see what I can do. Uh, Zed out. Um, And then uh, she goes away. And then it just shows them and they're looking off into the distance. We have this storm probably coming in into this ghost town. Watch Ghosts will be next. I don't know. But, uh, and then that's the end of the episode, you guys. And like I said before, clunker, clunker. I mean, it's it's not good. Uh, I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was even mediocre. I'm sorry, you guys. It was not even mediocre. That's how bad it was. Uh, this show, in my opinion, has really, like, come down in terms of writing, uh, because I, I don't understand how the story is 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 going any further with this nonsense. Like, I just don't get it. But, you know, whatever. What do I know? I'm just, you know, uh, you know, some a-hole in his in his office uh, just watching Star Wars and stuff. But it's just not good. Um, hopefully next week's episode will be better. I'm 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 holding out hope, but I, I need a hero. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's my story. All right, you guys, tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I don't understand how you could like it, but if you did, great on you. You power to you. Um, tell me what you, if you did like it, tell me what you liked about it. Who's your favorite Bad Batch character? Um, you know, uh, what are you looking forward to next episode? What do you think is going to happen? Did you think this episode was was very predictable? All that good stuff. Tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all of your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on my next Bad Batch breakdown and review. You guys have a good week. May the force be with you. Bye.